Hey everybody, welcome to Board Online, Board Offline. Today we are unboxing something I'm very excited for, unboxing, building, and installing the official insert for Tapestry. This is one of the Folded Space color inserts. So you can see there's actually gonna be more than just the standard gray that you see a lot with Folded Space, which is fine with me. The, the gray stuff looks, I've never had any problems with it, but this one actually has more to it, which is pretty exciting. Now, Tapestry is a game that I've wanted to insert for for a while. It's a big box with a lot of stuff in it, and it is just all jumbled around in there right now. Uh, I don't believe I even have any insert in there at all. Now, before we build this out, I do want to mention our sponsor, StoneValleyGames.com. This is your friendly, distant game store. They have a ton of great stuff over there. Board games, card games, RPGs, miniature games, everything you might need for your tabletop hobby, they can help you out. They also have a loyalty program that you should check out if you are a return customer. If you order $100 or more from them and you live in the continental United States, they'll ship to you for free. And if you are in the United States military, you're stationed overseas at an AA, AE, or AP address, they'll ship to you for free as well. So go check out StoneValleyGames.com. There's a link in the description below. All right, so let's get into this. I believe that'll just slip right off. There we go. And yeah, you can see that's actually how it will fit in the box right there. Pop that open. There we go. Oh, and this is a two a two sheet build. So this is going to be a little longer than some of the smaller builds. But like I said, Tapestry has a lot of stuff to keep track of. So let's open this up. All right, so we're going to do uh, tray 1A, 1B first, which looks like that is for the inspiration tiles. Alright, there we go. That's what those would look like. You can see we've got, uh, you know, these actually show you what's going to go in that slot, which is pretty awesome. So next up, we've got tray 2A, B, C, D. By the way, uh, as you can tell, I'm not super careful with my glue. I, it wouldn't be difficult to be more careful. It'd just be slightly more time consuming and I, I like to rush through it uh, a little bit as far as that goes. And the glue I use tends to dry pretty well without being super uh, obvious when, once it dries. This is the stuff I use, pH neutral PVA. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to it on Amazon. It's like eight bucks over there on Amazon. All right, so 2A, 2B, 2C, 2D. This is gonna be the player pieces.
right, so got these done. And here's something cool is the green, they, they each, so this is for the green player pieces, obviously they each have their own different side art as well. So again, just one of the benefits of having the uh, quote unquote color versions of these uh, full of space inserts. So next we're going to tray three here, which looks to be the white player pieces. All right, and now we've got tray four, which is gonna be, let's see, it says stadium, stock market, monolith, comm tower, library, and bakery buildings. All right, here's that one. So that's the first page. Moving to page two, we've got tray five V1 or five V2 for variant. We're gonna go with uh, Variant one, not variant two. All right, so we're going with this one. So 5v1 is gonna be for the Treasury Barn and Arts Building. All right, so now we've got 6v1, which is gonna be for the castle, bird perch, windmill bridge, villa, and game store buildings.
All right, so now we've got 7v1, which will be our technology, military, exploration, and science buildings. Next up, we've got tray eight, which is territory and space tiles. Tray 9 is Tapestry Tech and Solo Card Decks. All right, so it looks like this was not exactly right. That should have read uh, either tray two or, or tray eight. I can't remember which one it was. And this one is tray two and eight. So a little bit of a issue there, but nothing too major. And so now we're doing tray 10 here, or I said, I said tray, I meant sheet two or eight. I can't remember which sheet it was. Uh, tray 10 is a landmarks tokens, landmark cards, Masterpiece cards and scoring overlay tile.
All right, and tray 11 is for the Dice Skyscraper, Urban Forum, Digital Studio, and TV Station Buildings. And that looks like it's gonna be the last one. Okay, so that last one was probably the most complex of the group, but now let's get it into the box. Well, obviously I gotta let it dry for a little bit and then we'll get it in the box. All right, so we've got it built and let's take a look inside. So the one thing I noticed is that the castle does stick up just a little bit above the box line here, but everything fits in here nice and neat other than that. So, Pull this top. So you can even see right here for this stuff, there's a sunken in area here. So that, you know, that's this is just the rules for arts and architecture. But this stuff all sits right down in there as well as these sit down in there. So that's pretty cool. That's an uh, area that was intentionally built in there for it. And then you've got all of your land tiles and your space tiles here. Moving down, you've got your your white pieces down here. Now, by the way, these all got jumbled around. My kids are playing with it, so I haven't I haven't resorted these to have the exact right number in each spot. But you can see you got your red, green, uh, yellow, and blue there. So all five colors have their own tray, nice and neat. Here's the got two trays for these. Let's stack up in there like that. The buildings all have specific places for them to be in. See, they all fit inside. Again, the only one that sticks up out of its tray a bit is the, the castle, but no big deal there. Like I said, it's just, just a little bit, and the box top, for the most part, fits down on top of it uh, fine. Just a little bit of, just a tiny bit of box rise. Uh, you got your dice right there. And then there's some of the uh, the arts cards here. Then you've got these landmark cards, and then these cards, uh, the tapestry cards here, the tech cards here, and your uh, automa cards there. So it all fits in here nice and neat, very well organized, especially compared to what I had going, in, going on in here before with just a ton. And this box is just full of bags, no insert or anything. But that is the uh, folded space insert for Tapestry. Be sure to go check out Folded Space. They have a ton of great stuff over there. There's a, there'll be a link in the description below for this particular insert over there. Also be sure to stay tuned for other great stuff coming to the channel. We've had a, a pretty slow couple of months as far as production of videos go. I'm hoping to get back on track soon. It's just been kind of 
one of those time periods in life where you just don't have as much time for the things you want to do. But uh, I've still got the rest of the Aeon Trespass Odyssey instructional series coming. Still got Frosthaven instructional series. 1815 scum of the earth lands of galzer lots of great stuff still coming and we will get all of that out eventually so stay tuned and until next time if you're bored online bored offline